What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Listen, this is just a Chili's Copycat Southwestern Egg Rolls. Now let's get it. I got our ebook. Listen, it's only $5 and guess what? It specializes in, you know, appetizers. Look, this is great for this time of the year. So go ahead, take a look and I'll leave it down in the number one comment and I'll put it in the description box. Now, look, let's just go over some of these ingredients, right? I want you guys to take a look down here. Now look, it might look like a lot, but it's not. And you know what, I'm gonna take this time to say, listen, all of the ingredients with the measurements and everything will be down in the description box below. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this chicken right, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add salt and pepper. But first thing, let me cut this on. Let me get myself like a medium high heat. You know what I mean? Uh, that'll be good. More, more so on a medium heat. What I wanna do is bring my cast iron up, right? I probably, hey, here's a pro tip. You guys didn't know. You can always put your cast iron inside your oven at the temperature that you're looking for, and you can heat this up. Because remember, when you're using the gas or even electric, it starts there and it has to spread all the way throughout, right? So we're just letting that build up. And while I'm thinking, let me go ahead and put just a little bit of olive oil right there. And if you guys want to know what kind of olive oil I'm, I'm using, this is an infused olive oil too. That's all I cook with right now anyway. Now, got your chicken. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a couple of pinches Right, that's one there on that side. I'm gonna add some pepper. Right, then I'm gonna take it, take my good hand. I'm just gonna flip this over. Right, use my clean hand back in the salt. Cause remember we working with chicken. That wasn't as big as the first one, but we wanna have a little flavor. And all we are gonna do is we are gonna put our chicken in there. We are gonna brown our chicken, right? That's what we want. Now look, when we say brown, look, it, of course it obviously cooks too, but one thing I like about it, look, it puts a little bit, that brown, that salt, and that pepper, right? That pepper, when it get hot, it takes on a different flavor. Once we put a little crust on this, uh, on this chicken breast, that's when you start tasting some of that flavor. So look, I can see my oil just starting to smoke just a little bit. I know it's ready, right? So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the top part, right? So we'll just lay this down like that and then I just want to make sure it's pressed we want to get as much surface as we can so we just want to make sure we got maximum coverage on the on here and we just let that be okay so I want you guys to take a look at this look at the color on that and then you always want to have a meat thermometer so you can check right I take it as close as I can to being done because don't forget we're gonna put it in the deep fryer now I want you to notice one thing I didn't show that's off camera. Let me just pick this up like this and move it to the side. I held it that way because I wanted to get some color on that too. Look at that right there. This right here is gonna be fire. Now, you just wanna take this, right? I went ahead and washed my bowl, put it right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes before I cut it. Now, we got the chicken, it's resting. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this right here down the top. So now we'll just go ahead and do the same exact thing, right? Like I say, I'm not no chef or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I haven't been trained professionally. You know what I mean? For me, I just keep my fingers out of the way. Really, I just take it, rock it back and forth, cut just a little bit out like that, and that's how we get it. For me, every time I go to the market, you know what I mean? I always get green onions so they be the freshest. When you have them like this, you guys can get yourself a like a mason jar, put some water in there, put this in here and let them start sprouting. For me, I like to cut them all the way down to there. Listen, they bring new life. Then when you're done, if you plant them, you do that three or four times, now you got a garden full of green onions. It's been 10 minutes, actually it's probably been about 12 minutes. So now what we wanna do is we wanna just cut these down, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, cut these. I'm not gonna bore you guys, you guys can do this you know, cause I'm gonna cube this up cause this is gonna be the meat that be going into the filling, right? So you gotta have this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this olive oil in here, right? Reason being, cause guess what folks, we gonna bring this up to heat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna saute my bell pepper. I just wanna soften these up, let them be on the way to becoming, you know, translucent. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just add these. Now remember, we just sauteing them. We're not gonna take them all the way down. But I do like for every all of what I put in here right now for it to you know get into the oil. That just helps it. And another thing, look at the aroma that it gives off. Mm. You know, when I do stuff like this, I start thinking about, you know, that holy trinity. <laughs> like where's the rest of it at? Hey, but this right here, this right here will just get this going. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add myself 
you know, some of these green onion tops. I'm not gonna cook these all the way down, you know? We just do it like this. Just let them soften up just a little bit, that's all. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my chicken. Now it's up to you how much chicken you put in there. You can see that my breast was, you know, sort of big. But right now, we're just gonna cook this. Now remember, we cooked it. I didn't really fully all the way cook it, but now you understand why, because for one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in the deep fryer, right? And then two is, we got it right here. You know what I mean? So it's gonna start cooking, heating up, and doing this thing from here. But look at that, look at all of the colors we got. If we need to add more, we will, right? Now I'll come with the beans. My corn, you remember the title name, Southwestern. Spinach. Jalapeno. Right, I'm gonna just give this a stir first. Now we got that, now we finna come with this parsley. Just give it like a couple of tablespoons, you know what I mean? That should do it, ah, extra little pinch. Can't harm it, it gives it that splash of green. Now that we cooking it, it's gonna give it a little bit of flavor too. But check it out folks, super easy. Big on taste. And check it out, it's one of my favorites. You remember we had seasoning, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle this in here. And this is what's gonna tie it all together, folks. Now I'm gonna let this cook for about, uh, I'm gonna say about five minutes. Once I get everything, you know, married together. And after five minutes, then we're gonna go ahead and roll them up. And then we're finna get this deep fryer. We're gonna bring that up to temp. And we're gonna move from there. If you look at this, or you ever had the Southwestern, you know, egg rolls, you know, from Chili's, look at how it looks right here. You see how it's real soft, the spinach is nice and ready. This is what you want to look for. Mine, I wish they did make them, you know, this meaty. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off, right? You know, don't forget, we had some cheese. Let me just spread this out just like this. I'm gonna take my cheese, and we just gonna go ahead and just add this just like this. Now, I kinda like spread it out because I don't want to work with no clumps, you know? So just a little bit like this. I used about half of it, you know? And we just gonna let the heat, right? The heat from the pan and the, you know, the filling, just get everything to mix and start tying everything together. You see how it's disappearing? That's what you want, folks. Then you can see all the lines of cheese, you know it's melting. But this right here, ah, now it's coming together. Now we just add the remainder, right? And we just go like this. And guess what, folks? We about three quarters of the way done. But this is what you wanna get. And if you had the luxury to ever go to Chili's, which I like, by the way, I'm gonna be making a lot of their recipes anyway. Listen, you have the luxury going there, then you know that this right here smells incredible. And you know, I got several recipes where I do the Southwestern style, especially on the egg rolls. Now as our deep fryer is coming up to temp, this right here is just settling in, you know, real nice. What I, I'm gonna give you guys a real truth. I've been trying not to eat so much of it. You know what I mean? So now look, get yourself a bowl. Remember I told you guys this is really a dump and go. I'm not gonna show this all to you, but I'm just gonna show you, just tell you one thing. You put all of this in there and mix it all up. You're gonna use half of an avocado. Once you got it all mixed up, now you got avocado ranch. It is truly just that easy, folks. Now I'll cut the avocado up and then we'll move from there. Okay, so look, as you can see, this is it. I can tell you this, it's not supposed to be creamy. You can see a little bit of the chunk you know what I mean? The chunk from the uh, avocado, that's what you want. If you want to make it creamy, go ahead and be my guest. But this right here is the way it should look. It should have a hint of green. Take a look at that right there. And there you have it, folks. Avocado Ranch. If you can find the regular raw ones, those work great. Because look, after we put these together and roll these up, we're going to have to seal it. So when we seal, I'm going to get myself another bowl. I'm going to put a little flour in there and make myself my own edible glue, right? We're just going to seal that, you know, close it just so it'll keep up. Now, I just checked my deep fryer. It's up to temp. Now it's time to roll, dip, and eat. Since I'm using these, they already ready to go, right? These tortillas, right? I put them in a the microwave, just heating them up a little bit. Don't do like me, folks. A lot of times I have a tendency to overfill them and I feel like I'm doing it again right now. So now we just take this, come up over the top like this, right? I like to just pull it back, get it nice and tight, like that. And then I take this here, 
bring this over this way and I bring this one over this way right and now we just roll this forward it always takes me a minute right so when I get it right here remember we made a slurry that's what it is I know that I told everybody we making the glue but we not we just take this tap this right around this way and that's because these are already these tortillas are already ready you know and cooked and ready to go right but we just put that around there like that then we just roll this like this and then I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm just gonna set it over here and just leave it like that for now now I'm gonna get another one and we're just gonna repeat that process until we get them all rolled up and they nice and tight and look your first one is always gonna look a little differently you know what I mean but then when you get to your second one it start coming together and they start looking perfect folks these have already been glued what I'll do is I'll just take these and we'll just lay them in here just like this. Now, they only gonna be in there until they golden brown, right? They Even if your filling is a little bit, like the cheese is tightened up, don't worry, because once we drop this in the inside right here, check it out, it goes like this. So look, as you can see, look at this color. You just cook these till you get the right color, right? So I'm just gonna put these on a paper lined plate those are nice right there. Hey, so look, we already pre-ducked. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it like that. Hey, listen, I hate to say this to you guys, you know what I mean? Cause I got like the best job. I get to make the food, taste, test the food, level up the food, and then share it with you guys. Hey, so with that being said, cheers. I can't quit laughing, folks. You know this is going to be quick. Hey, here's the cold part about it is I got to remake this so everybody can have some. But these right here, I ain't going to take these. I probably just eat three of these and I'm good, you know, till dinner. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you guys have the luxury to be ever go out to Chili's and have the Southwestern egg rolls or even seen them on a the commercial, now you know how to make them right there in your own, you know, your own home. They super easy, big on flavor, and I promise you, listen, just the fact that you made ranch and then you leveled it up and made some avocado ranch, which is their specialty, when you make these, you know, when you make the Southwestern egg rolls, they pair themselves together excellent. Hey, listen, I want to say this part too. I'm learning this late in life. When food is great, right and you got the right pairing even if just the food is right i want to say this just having some water and you know like just doesn't kill it and just makes the whole thing good for me i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below do you agree with that i used to drink sodas and all this kind of stuff but now i find out with a good meal just a nice glass of cold water you know to wash it down just does perfect if you're new to my channel let me take this time to say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there Listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? We're going to dip, blow, and I'm out. Peace.